my name is Katie Darcy and I'm Communications Officer for China Muir Archives and Museums. My role is quite varied. I look after all of the marketing and PR for four different regional museums in the North East. Um, so that includes a, a really wide range of things, including um, writing copy for leaflets and websites, um, as well as organising opening events for um, preview evenings for exhibitions. Um, also um, PR, so I do a lot of liaison with journalists, um, talking about what's going on in the museums, letting people know about it. Um, a lot of liaison with visitors as well as stakeholders, business partners, friends of the museum, quite a wide range of people really. You need to have strong English skills, so you need to be able to write copy very well um, for a variety of different mediums. So you need, need to be able to write copy for PR, which is very different to copy for websites or copy for leaflets. So you need to have quite a wide range of skills um, in that respect, but you also need to have really good communication skills and that you need to be able to speak to people in different ways. You need to understand when you need different tones of voice, that kind of thing. Um, and you also need to be a very organised person. Um, to be able to juggle all of the different roles that my job entails. After my A-levels, I went to university in Stirling and I did a degree um, in English studies and film and media studies. As part of my degree, I did study um, some marketing and PR, so that was what gave me my kind of initial training in communications. While I was there, I was a journalist on the university newspaper and I was also, um, I presented a radio show on the university radio station. So I think that kind of, gave me a good set of skills. Um, when I graduated, I moved back to the North East and I started working at Northumbria Students' Union as their marketing and media sales coordinator. Um, in that role, I was responsible for um, advertising sales and that kind of thing, but I also developed the role in the time that I was there so that I was, in the end, I was writing all of the copy for things like the student handbook, I was advisor for the student newspaper. Um, it really grew from there. Um, from there, I went on to work for Tyne and Weir Archives and Museums in my current role. Um, and since I've been there, I've completed the CAM Diploma in Marketing and Communications. I think the thing that I get out of it most is how varied my job is. No day is exactly the same because there's so many different kind of paths to my job. So, and because I look after four different museums, I'm constantly working on different exhibitions or different events. Um, so there's always something new and somebody new to talk to about different things. So it's really interesting. I think it's just important to get as much experience as you can, try and get work experience if you can. When I was at school I did work experience at my local radio station which I found really useful, I worked in the newsroom there. Um, if you're particularly interested in a career in muse museums and galleries then I think it's really good to volunteer for them or try and get work experience in any role really because it gives you a really good grounding and understanding of the way that museums and galleries work. Um, and then you can kind of try out different roles within museums and galleries and find out if communications is for you. Um, so really just try and get as much experience as you can.